from whence come wars and rumors and every evil thing. Where does it come from, people? Where does it come from? Well, I just told you the story. I told you the backstory where it came from. Our rebellion against God won't be disobedient to him. So the thing is, people, the more you be disobedient to God, the more you rebel against God, the more you go against God's ways and God's words and God's wisdom, the more you're going to be drawn away to the evil side of yourself. You're going to be drawn away by the evil that's within you. You understand? I know most Christians going to swear, I'm not evil. I'm not evil. You all got it in us. We all got it in us. Why do you think Jesus Christ died on the cross? For our sins. Our sins. The sins within us. And the only way we can be cleansed is through him. The only way we can, we can be helped from the evil within is through him. You know, but think about this, people. He said, where does wars and rumors come from? Where does hatred come from? Within. So let's say you racist. Let's say you, a little part of you are very powerful towards your own race. You know, and then you got a group of people, right? You got a group of people. Listen to me now. Hear me out. You got a group of people that's so pro-black and so powerful just like you are to your own race. Now you're drawn to them. No matter if the cause is righteous or not, but your heart considers the, trial, the cause to be good. Because that's what your heart yearns for. So you join the Ku Klux Klan. Or you join a, a black racist group or Asian racist group or whatever it is. And say your, your heart yearns to be a man with a man. So you're leaning on that. You're resisting. You're not resisting the evil within you, so you're giving in to it. Now you're part of the LGBTQ community. You're drawn to whatever group your heart already desires to be with. Do you understand, people? Nobody cannot make you do anything. The serpent did not make Eve. He didn't make, he didn't take that the forbidden fruit and force it down her throat. She took it willingly. Adam took it willingly. Because a part of them may be but the thing is, almost people like one chick were like, God is a bully. Why would he do that to us? Because God gave us free will from the beginning. He gave us free choice. But he gave us some rules. A simple rule gave Adam and Eve, don't eat from this tree or that tree. So they know anything that went against God's words and God's commandments was not him. You understand? They just got tricked. And the thing is, the devil is always out to trick you. But the one thing about the devil right now, he fights within you. The evil fights within you. Actually, the, the, if you look at the truth of the matter is, the devil, mm -hmm. now for the kill me on this, he's evil. Don't get me wrong. But that tree contained good and evil. That one tree did. So that's why we can't blame the devil for anything. He might try to entice us. You understand? But you got... A resistance that has to be a daily resistance that's warring in your soul to fight against the evil within yourself. You understand? Nobody can make you do anything. You understand? I'm just being real with you, people. He said to the, I was reading it, he said, just take evil. So the Bible said, don't reward evil for evil. Why he said, don't reward evil for evil? If he said don't reward evil for evil, that means everybody's capable of evil. So he said don't reward evil for evil. Somebody's evil to you, don't be evil to them. That means if you were evil to them, you're giving it to their evil. It goes for me and anybody else. You understand? Do not reward evil for evil, evil with good. You know, it's like a major test in this world to figure out what side you're on. That's why everybody that's on this green earth was given life. As a testament. Everybody has their own testament. And your testament can determine where you go. But the thing is. You can't just say I'm a good person. Because none is good. So the only way you can make it to heaven. Is through Jesus Christ. You can't buy your way into heaven. You can't just do good deeds and expect. All to be forgiven. The only way you're going to be forgiven. Is through the blood of Jesus. Right? Because there's not a person that does totally 100% good so what's, what is God going to help you do balance yourself self out stop you from doing evil things and he's going to help you and God sees that he's proud of you 
He said, I will be found in them that seek me. And as long as you seek him, and as long as you seek after him, you may do some things that not you're not proud of. But just remember, whom the Lord loves, he chastises. So a lot of times when you do things that you're not proud of, you will be chastised accordingly. That's part of the plan to stop you from doing evil. You know, why do you think some people go in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail? Oh, man, I got with the wrong crowd. No, you didn't. You got out and you start blaming the man. I can't get no job. I can't do this. So you go back into selling dope or doing whatever you got to do and you get caught up. Whatever evil deeds you was doing already, you go back to him because you wasn't caught upon the Lord enough. You wasn't trusting in him to lead you enough. You started trusting in yourself. So you know, I'm going to get it by my own hands. You know, people, the word of God is, is wonderful. It's sharper than any sword known to man. But you have to study it to show yourself approved of it. You got to fight the evil within. You got to stop blaming everybody for everything that goes, well, I wouldn't be this way if I wouldn't have got raped when I was 12. All right. You got raped when you was 12. I ain't never been raped before. I can't even relate to it. But I know that's an answer to, to get you to it. Jesus Christ. Make it a little easier for you. You know. All things work together for the good. All things. Even the bad things that happen in your life work to the good of those that love God. You understand? So people, what I'm telling you to do is wake up. Stop blaming everybody else. It's all about you and what you do. Nobody else is held accountable for your action. He said we will all be judged according to our works and our ways and our words. And I'm not adding to the word. I just combine the words. You all are going to be judged on every action that you do. So it's time for us as Christians to take action. Take actions with our lives. We got to get ourselves strong in Christ. I don't care if your, 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 your cousin or your mama or your daddy or your wife or your husband is not getting strong in Christ. You grow strong, strong in Christ for you. Even in uh, Corinthians, he said, how do you know if you can save your Wife, oh man, and how you know you can save your husband, oh woman? You don't know. He said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, if trying to fight and save a little, another person's a soul so bad that it's drawing you away from God, maybe it's time for you to let them go. I'm just being real with you, people. Now, what did I say? If it's drawing you away from God, Maybe it's time for you to let them go. And if it's causing you to sin, maybe it's time for you to let them go. Because maybe that sin nature is already in you and then they're just bringing it out. And the thing is, it's still not their fault. It's your fault for continuing to be around someone that's going to draw out your sin nature. Draw out your anger. Draw out your evil that's in you. It's your fault. I love them. That's why I, I, I'm staying in this abusive uh, verbally and physically relationship. I'm going to stay in it because I love them. Now you're causing yourself to sin. Yeah, God hates divorce, but God hates fighting and false witness and all this stuff too. So if you're living in a brawling house, continue fighting, you're causing yourself to sin and you're causing, and they're causing themselves to sin by continue arguing and fighting and bickering and complaining and then this, this thing you know, somebody did. The evil within, fight it people. Have a blessed day.